what drew me here to Fairfield, not just the quality of education, but really like the uh, culture and the commitment to the students um, is something that I think is really unique and that carries on through students that leave here and it kind of seeps out into the reputation for the program. So when you look at a DMP, there are multiple DMPs. They have them in family nurse practice, they have them in mental health, and then they have them in midwifery and um, the RNA here, which is like nurse anesthesiology. As far as my FMP classes, there's probably like 20 of us, and so like that's our specific subunit. I think an important part of our curriculum is to have a really broad perspective, not just in how we'll be practicing day to day or you know writing prescriptions, but also um, to think of the community and how our practice is going to be affecting the community. Everybody's different and everybody's background, culture, they rely on different care and you can't put everybody in one uniform group because that's not what America is, you know? That's the beauty of it. So they teach us with cultural competence classes. Doing simulation, they have patient from different background and also providers from the, uh, with different background. All of this allowed us to expand our view on how to offer the best holistic care to every patient. The professors have one foot in the real clinical world and then they have a strong footing in the academic world. And it's extremely evident in how they teach and in every classroom I've been in. They have passions for both, that they want to incorporate, you know, their real world experience with bringing it into the classroom. At the beginning, we are all taking class together, so it was a unique opportunity to meet with other exper experts. We had the pleasure to work with social workers and also students in the FMP program. So um, we get the, the chance to work with different, different uh, people with different interests. Finding clinical placement here was the biggest reason I chose Fairfield. I got accepted into a couple other programs, but they made you find your own clinical site. Here, Egan helps find the clinical sites. There's a clinical placement coordinator, and they ask you where you're located in the state, and I'm from Southington, so I'm a little bit far from this area. So they said, oh, we'll look for places in New Britain and Meriden, and they really work with you to make your life easier through the clinical period. We actually got a list of all the providers and they encouraged us to think about what our personal interests are, what we might want to practice once we graduate. I was lucky enough to receive the HRSA grant from the Fairfield. The grant is a program that says after you graduate you'll work with a high risk, low income population. The HESA grant was a source of motivation for me as not only it helped me to keep up with my good grades, but also it allowed me to, to give back, especially to the community um, in greater needs, which I was intended to do anyways. I've had a diverse like, range of experiences, but nothing has really uh, kind of touched me in the way that mental health has. It's, obviously, it's something we speak about all the time, about how important it is, uh, but yeah, I decided to do something about that.